Hey, love muffins. It's preschool. <laughs> I had to come to you because I was in the gym today and it reminded me, it reminded me of something I've been meaning to do. And what I've been meaning to do is to give you my five pet peeves that I have about going to the gym. Okay? So I'm going to keep it very concise and keep things moving. So number five, number five, when you go to the gym, this is something that really pisses me off. And when you go to use equipment, I don't want to use something after you have given birth on it. No one wants to see all this sweat, all this mucus and things. That's why you bring a towel to the gym to wipe off your equipment after you use it. Who wants to use that after it's drenched? I mean, literally drenched. I mean, like I would, yesterday I went to the gym and it was like a little mud, like a little mud puddle in the seat of my little chair that I was gonna do my little bike on. And I'm like, what is going on? People have no common decency, okay? Number four, wear the appropriate clothes. Like, do not go to the gym when you are, you know, hanging out all over the place. You know you shouldn't be wearing it. You know, don't be walking around the gym, things flopping around. There, that's why you have a sports bra. That's why you, you know, you wear loose clothing. I don't care who you are. I don't want to see it. I don't care if you're fine and could be a future baby daddy. No one wants to see you walking around the gym with your shirt off or, you know, things of that nature. As well as no one wants to hear you screaming. Some people go to the gym and they like working out on the equipment and they make all this noise. We get it. You work out. You're a big, strong, burly man. Okay, but shut the hell up. I'm trying to work out, trying to listen to my music, and I can't do that if you're screaming. Okay, number three, the bathroom. See, I don't even go to the bathrooms anymore. I do not go to the bathrooms in the gym because they are disgusting. They're disgusting because people, first of all, use them to do all type of sexual activities. Number And also, they walk around butt-ass naked. No one wants to see you walk around the entire bathroom butt ass naked. People will be over at the lockers. They will go over and brush their teeth. How are you going to go brush your teeth, okay, naked? So you can walk all the way over there from yonder to there to brush your teeth. You brushing your teeth and things just are shaking and jumping. I said, oh, no, 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 no. And they have the nerve to walk around barefoot. How are you going to walk around in this nasty gym where all these people use day after day after day to use the facilities and you're going to be barefoot. Oh, disgusting. Indeed. In fact. Okay. Number two, the gym. I mentioned this before in a previous video. The gym is not a whole stroll. The gym is not a whole stroll. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. I feel like I'm in the wrong place. I go to use the equipment. I'm either caught in the crossfire between two people flirting with each other or someone's trying to flirt with me. I'm not, I don't want to talk to you. I don't care. Once again, I don't care if you are future baby daddy material. I am in the gym to work out. I am not in the gym to find a man. Okay? Indeed. Leave me alone. Don't be staring at me across the room. Don't come and sit beside me and stare at me right beside me. Do not come up and ask me my name. I'm not going to give you my name because I, guess what? Don't want to talk to you. <laughs> and the number one reason, the number one reason that I cannot and I cannot continue to go to the gym that I'm going to, but hopefully that will change. But is the number one reason is that today I was going over, I went off, walked over to use her piece of equipment. And it was just me and this other female, this lady sitting there with, uh, using the equipment already. And I sat down, we used it. I was using it for a while, like, for like maybe 20 minutes. And I got this whiff. Okay, it was like, what is this? It smells like vomit. I was like, did someone throw up? Did, you know, it's, it's unleashed. It just came out of nowhere. It's like a septic tank. You know, when your septic tank backs up or the sewer gas comes up from the sewer, that's what it smelled like. And clearly, it was just me and her in this one little section of the gym. Okay, and then she had the nerve. You know, this trollop, this trollop had the nerve to look over at me like I did it. I said, you know what? I said, you're nasty. And I got up and I walked away. The thing is, the number one reason is do not fart in the gym. And people do it all the time. Farting in the gym is disgusting. It's unnecessary. I mean, who are you? Like, who does that? Who goes to the gym? Even if you're straining yourself or something like that, you know, if you fart, say, excuse me or something. Like, I need to be warned. I need to be given the, the opportunity to get up and leave before the atomic bomb hits, okay? Clearly, I could have threw up. You know what I mean? I could have, she could have, 
and caused me to lose my bowel function. I could just, everything could just came out because I smelled that. I mean, if she's going to fart, then I'm a shit. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy, love muffins. Please wipe off the equipment. Please wear the, most, the appropriate clothing. Do not walk around the bathroom barefoot and naked. Number two, oh my goodness, the gym is not a whole stroll. And number one, do not, under any circumstances, fart in the gym. And if you do, say excuse me. <laughs> All right, so that's my top five reasons why I hate the gym. Please leave your comments on this video and at lovebscott.com if you have any you want to contribute. As well as I've been hearing that people on YouTube have been getting deleted. And so if I'm ever deleted, deleted for a reason, please just go to Google and type in lovebscott.com or lovebscott or bscott and I will come up. So write it down, love, be Scott, in case some shenanigans start going on, you will know where to come to get your little daily scoop of B. Scott. <laughs> on that note, double kisses. Mwah. Mwah.